Hello, this is Colonial Puppet, and this is going to be a quick guide on how to remove or replace the PRAM battery in your tray loading iMac G3. And just as a quick disclaimer, this guide is only for the earlier tray loading iMac G3s, as the later slot loading iMacs use a completely different design. PRAM batteries are a lot like ticking time bombs in old vintage computer equipment and can leak battery acid onto motherboards and other components, causing corrosion and other damage. And as these old iMacs are becoming more collectible, especially the earlier tray loading iMacs, it's important to preserve them in any way you can, and either replacing or removing the PRAM battery altogether is one of the easiest things you can do to extend the life of your iMac. All you'll need to replace the PRAM battery is a large Phillips head screwdriver and something soft to protect the front face of your iMac such as a towel or in my case a large sponge. The first thing you're going to want to do is carefully lay your iMac face down on the protective material of your choosing, exposing the bottom of the machine. Next on the bottom of the computer you'll find a single screw nestled within a small pull-out handle. Remove this screw using your screwdriver and then using the small pull-out handle, remove this bottom case piece. It should pop right off. Once that's off, you're going to want to remove these two screws underneath this plastic handle. And once those two screws are removed, there's going to be three cables that you're going to have to undo. The first cable is this 15 pin video connector that you're going to need a screwdriver in order to remove, followed by these two cables that should just pull right out. And once those cables are undone and out of the way, you should be able to use that plastic handle to pull out the entire logic board and optical drive assembly. And this is where you'll find the PRAM battery. All you have to do to remove the battery is pull off this plastic covering and then the battery should just pull right out. I didn't have a replacement battery to put in its place, so the only thing left to do was to reassemble the computer. It can be a bit tricky to slide the whole logic board and optical drive assembly back into place, so I'm going to show how I was able to do it from multiple angles. Now to reassemble the rest of the computer. I hope you found this video helpful and as always have a nice day.